Okay, so in this clip, I'm going to show you t how to um, make these calculations when you don't have a change in phase. So that means if it's a liquid, it's going to stay a liquid. Alright, so first, whenever you have a phase change, we're going to use the heat of fusion or the heat of vaporization. But in these problems, we do not have a phase change, right? So when there's no phase change, we're going to use Q equals MC delta T. Now, this is set up to find Q, which is energy. So that's simple. What I'm going to show you how to do is to isolate for mass, specific heat, or change in temperature. Okay, so first, let's say we're trying to isolate for M. To, so, so use your math. If we're trying to isolate for M, we'll divide both sides by C and delta T so that we can get M by itself. So divide both sides by C and delta T. Now your C's and delta T's will cancel. And you're left with M equals Q over C and delta T. Now, let's say uh, we're, we have the same thing, right? We don't have a phase change, and we're trying to isolate for C. So as you can see, um, we're going to do the opposite order of operation. So right now, it's mul mul uh, multiply by M and delta T. So we'll divide both sides by M and delta T. Divide by M and delta T. The M's will cancel, the delta T's will cancel, and you're left with C, which is the specific heat, is equal to Q over M and delta T. All right, so the last one will be if we have no phase change and we're trying to isolate for delta T. So Q equals M C delta T. We're trying to isolate for the change in temperature, right? So the opposite of to multiply by M and C is to divide by M and C on both sides. So now your M's and C's will cancel so that you're left with delta T by itself. Delta T equals Q over MC. Okay, so it all depends on what the question gives you. I'll write down all of your knowns, and there should be one unknown. Isolate for that unknown, and we're good to go. Okay, so the problem that we're going to work out here is there's a 15.2 gram sample of a liquid, it's H2O at 60.5 degrees Celsius and it's going to release 1,221.6 joules of energy. Our job is to calculate the final temperature. Okay, so I'm going to call this find TF. Okay, now what we have to remember is that So, change in temperature equals Tf, which is temperature final, minus temperature initial. So, my job is to find the final temperature first because it gives me the initial temperature. Okay, so let's write down all of the notes. The mass is 15.2 grams. The initial temperature is 60.5 degrees Celsius. Uh, Q is 1,221.6 joules. And the key word here is release. When 
whenever it says release, I know that it's going to be exothermic. So this has to be negative. C. I know that C, if this is liquid H2O, is going to be 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. Okay, so now I know that I'm going to set this up to find temperature, uh, the, the change in temperature, and that's going to lead me back here to find the temperature final. Okay, so let's set this up. I know that there is no phase change, so uh, Q equals MC delta T. We're trying to find delta T because once we find delta T, since it, since it gives us the initial temperature, we can find the final temperature. So I'm trying to isolate for delta T. So I'll divide both sides by MC, just like we did before. M over C. A change in temperature will equal Q over M C. Okay, so Q is negative 1,221.6 joules. The mass is 15.2 grams. And the specific heat or C here for liquid H2O is 4.184 joules per gram degrees Celsius. Okay, so when I plug this in, what I like to do is negative 1,221.6 divide it. So I'm going to group this on the bottom. So I'm going to say open 15.2 times 4.184 close enter. Since my mass is 3 sig fig, I'm going to keep all of this to 3 sig figs. The answer is negative 19.2. My joules will cancel, my grams will cancel, and I'm left with just degrees Celsius. Okay, now this makes sense to me because it says that um, the energy is being released which is going to be exothermic. So I need a cooling of my system. So it has to be a negative change in temperature. This is going to be equal to delta T. Okay, so now I'm going to take change in T, which is delta T, equals Tf minus Ti. I'm trying to isolate for Tf, so um, the opposite of to subtract is to add, so I'll add the uh, Ti to both sides, right, so then this will cancel, and now I'm left with Ti plus delta T equals Tf. Um, this is 60.5, that is the temperature um, at the start, plus the change in temperature is negative 19.2 degrees Celsius equals T final. Okay, so that is going to work out to be 41.5. Three degrees Celsius equals the temperature final. And you always want to circle or uh, draw a box around your final answer. Okay? Now, um, there are two more problems here that I want you to work on. They are right here. <coughs> 
when you're all set, uh, I will have a screen with the answers to these two problems. So now, pause it, right? Uh, here are the answers to the two problems. Here's the answer to the first problem. And here is the answer to the second problem.